opposition leader Bill Shorten addressing a Labor rally in Sydney. Now let's go to our political reporter Jade McMillan who is there on the scene at the rally. She joins us now and Jade just take us through what the key messages have been there from the opposition leader. Well, as you saw, Bill Shorten was just addressing a Labor volunteers rally here in Burwood in uh, Sydney's inner west. And we're in the seat of Reid, which Labor is very hopeful of picking up at this election. In fact, Mr Shorten has now been here three times in the past three days, which uh, is a sign that Labor wants to show that it is uh, throwing whatever it has at winning this seat. The Liberal Party holds it with a margin of 4.7 per cent, but the sitting Liberal MP Craig Laundie isn't recontesting this election. Uh, Labor's candidate for Reid, Sam Crosby, opened the event with a swipe at the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison. He uh, welcomed everyone there by saying, as the Prime Minister likes to say, ni hao, which was uh, a crack at uh, Mr Morrison's comment yesterday to a woman while he was on a street walk. He used that greeting and she replied, no, I'm Korean. Uh, that was followed by the Deputy Labor leader, Tanya Plibersek, uh, and then Mr Shorten arrived with his wife Chloe. He stuck to Labor's uh, major themes at this election, education and health. He announced a promise of $50 million for a redevelopment of a local hospital, Concord Hospital, uh, and also spoke about Labor's pledge for more money for public hospitals generally and its uh, $2.3 billion cancer plan announced in the budget reply speech. Now, we're not expecting to be able to ask Mr Shorten any questions ourselves today. Uh, his campaign team is limiting his events today to this speech. We may hear from other Labor MPs later. Uh, he has spent the first three days of this campaign in New South Wales, but we're expecting that we'll be leaving this afternoon. Our political reporter Jade McMillan bringing us up to date there on the opposition leader's campaign. Now, we can also tell you that we are waiting for Prime Minister Scott Morrison to begin speaking at her rally in Brisbane. We'll get that to you as soon as he does step up to speak. And of course, the Prime Minister has shifted his attention north to Queensland today, campaigning in marginal Brisbane seats for the first time in the official campaign. The Sunshine State is always a closely fought over electoral battleground and the Coalition are forced to sandbag seats to have any chance of holding on to government. Young Australians. And for these young Australians, I'm making this pledge that we will build our economy to secure your future because people matter. Thank you very much. We've been hearing there from the Prime Minister Scott Morrison addressing the Liberal Nationals rally in Brisbane. Now to other news and horse trainer Chris Waller has farewelled Winks following an extraordinary win in her final race at the Queen Elizabeth Stakes at Randwick yesterday. Sport reporter Glenn Lauder has more from Winks's training stables in Rose Hill 